because the early masters knew there's two in society there's a lot of segregation. There are the Indian Buddhists and the Tibetan Buddhists or the Himalayan Buddhists, right? Then there's the caste system. In the Indian culture, have the Brahmin caste and then the uh, uh, Chatya caste and all the other caste system, right? And then in Tibet, maybe they have the, 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 the higher ruling caste and the commoner caste and everything. So that's why all these things were written for all... Right now, all these things don't exist. We think don't exist. Actually, still exist. But for the rest of us, maybe we did pray like that. So therefore, this life, we are born in the place in society where there seems to be more equanimity. But it's only because you're of the same race. It's only because you're of the same race. Right? That is why in the prayer, always they say, oh, in my future life, future emanation, may I be born in a major race. Ta zu. Right? Because if you're born as a lesser race, you'll always be bullied by the greater race. There'll be racism amongst human beings. Okay? So these are some things that to take into consideration. So when we talk about real Dharma practice, right? Renunciation, okay? Then the four immeasurables. Then the thing is to have a wishful thought first. Sow the seed. I cannot, I cannot save all beings, but at least I, I should think that I want to save all beings, right? I'm not Superman, but can I pretend to be Superman? That's why you see children, they can wear Superman costume and then they can, they can or they can wear, even if they don't have a Spider-Man costume, they, pre they pretend they are Spider-Man, so they spray spiders, they, have, they jump and everything, right? Right? Yeah. Same. This is the, engage, this is the engaging talk. Uh, uh, a wishful thought wishful thought that you want to save the world you want to become a Buddha why? because no beings no other being no other being even this venerable here would have to agree an Arhat and Buddha who you bow to Ah, one Arhat, one Buddha. You bow to who? First Buddha, right? Why? Because Buddha enlightened can help so many beings, right? Yeah. That's why we say we should aspire to be Buddha, not aspire to be free of suffering or become Arhat. So that's why you must all aspire first to become Buddha. Stop thinking about next life, I go heaven. Some people say, my next life, I want to be free like a bird. <laughs> right? Oh, free like a bird. Where I want to go, I can go. I can fly. I can this and that. Then, yeah. then after that, when people tell me this kind of thing, sure, eat raw, raw worms, cockroaches, crickets, drink, drain water. <laughs> yeah. If you are fortunate, you won't be eaten by snakes or other predator birds like eagles or hawks and everything. Right? If you are, you didn't say what kind of bird you are. Maybe you are born flamingo, cannot fly. <laughs> yeah, free like a bird, but this life overweight. Next life become ostrich or emu. Yeah, you say you want to be a bird, right? You didn't say what kind of bird, right? But that chicken also cannot fly. Can I fly a little bit? That ayah ayah. <laughs> Right? So it's very important, you see. Yeah. So when really you must think that you want to become Buddha. Why? Because Buddha can help all beings limitlessly. Right? Some people might say, oh, next life I want to go to heaven. I go enjoy. Yeah. You go holiday before? You go holiday, come back. Are you more tired? <laughs> Are you more tired after a holiday? Do you spend money on holiday? 
Uh, did you enjoy 100% on holiday? Huh? Right. So all this holiday bullshit uh, is really an uh, idea that to go explore and this and that. Really, I tell you, holiday means go heaven. Come back, you get more bashed up. Right? I'm sorry, like, I just have to explain it this way.